Howdy, hey, welcome back to Pacific Northwest Gold Rushers. I'm Jeff, amateur prospector, and this is Gold Rush 23. Well, it's Memorial Day weekend, and I've been watching the water gauge, and the water came up a foot last night. So, uh, we're going to have to improvise, and I say we because look who showed up. Lee showed up, if you remember her from last year. We did a panning day where her and Galadriel learned how to pan. And uh, so she wanted a relaxing day to uh, come out, and we were hoping for the water to be down. I've been here for about a half an hour or so, but I'll tell you the truth. You can already see that it's going back down from where the water line is. But I took a walk down here and all, and we found a spot real close to where the bank vault was. But we have to go make our way down through there. So there's a little bit of a drop, but we'll figure it out. Most important thing is we're going to relax. It's a beautiful day, beautiful weekend. The water's really roaring for this river. Butterflies are everywhere. Bluto's here. He's, going to, he's getting old, though, that, that little boy. There he is. Look at Bluto. I think you're going to need help getting back up from that big old hill, huh, buddy? Yeah. You going to help us find some nugs? So, we're going to get to it, and uh, I'm also going to try something. We got a thick line of black sand. Never done it, so I'm going to bring an extra container and fill a container up with just black sand. And when I go home, we'll, we'll see if there's actually gold in it. But, uh, who is that, uh... Adventure Time Prospecting, he's been doing that uh, somewhere back east. I think it's in uh, near the, well, God, wh where does he live? Anyway, he's up near the Appalachians and everything, but he's been doing that and finding gold. So I figured we'll see if there's, I always wondered if there's gold in the black sand anyway, but it's just a fun day. We got Lise. She dresses like Rich, nowhere near looking like a miner. But, uh. Just about enjoying ourselves, having fun. She took the day off today, which is really rare. I'm surprised. Bluto's all pumped up. Are you going to be a gold sniffing hound today? He's like, no, just give me a damn stick and I'm good. Yes, that's right. We're going to go find a nug. Gold Rush 23. <laughs> Hey, welcome back. All right, well, we found our little spot. Believe it or not, right where Lisa's is standing is uh, the bank vault. And then, hey, Lisa, the panders pit is actually right over there. So you know the area. It's just a different look. I know. Look how many butterflies. Lisa, when I was sitting on the back of my truck, they were landing on me again. Awesome. Just like upriver. They, 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 down things were laying on my arm, and I'm still moving. Now I got this other bug landed on my head. Anyway, here's what I wanted to show you guys. Let me, I'm going to do this real quick. But, if I can remember where I put my shovel. So, Bluto's got his stick. It's like his chew toy. And, of course, uh, but look how, look, oops, that was stupid. Look how kind of, look how deep it is. So I'm actually going to do a curiosity test pan. That's all. Um, I always wondered if there was gold, so today's the perfect day to find out. Ooh, look at that, Rockleys. Well, that's cool. Look at that one. Check that out. Take it home to your garden. That's beautiful. Isn't that? Yeah. There you go. There's something you can remember. I don't know if it's pyrite or not. But <laughs> all along the bank 
That's, uh, yeah, that's fool's gold. Now I know I'm probably putting too much in here. But, here, let me, that was up there. Let me try down here. Oh, that is a lot darker, isn't it? Yeah. This is way too much for black sand panning, but I don't care. <laughs> Let me see if there's any nugs in that. Gold Rush 23. Howdy, welcome back. This is my favorite time of day. It's right here. Sun's right there, butterflies going everywhere, Bluto chewing on a stick. We're doing another test. We've been searching. It's been a little trickier because we ain't got a lot to work with. But we found some really good gravels. I know there's a flake of gold in there. Lisa's still struggling to let anything out of her pan. And she's like the Jungle Book movie with the elephant that says, Is this water sanitary? But she's just like, it's cold. She's like, it's cold. I'm like, well, I'm tough. <laughs> so... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's just really good practice for. Her. So I haven't even done my pan yet of that. <coughs> Our whole <coughs> God dang, I think I swallowed a bug. <laughs> Our whole goal today anyway was just to relax, catch up. She works her butt off. Uh I don't really, but I just drive a lot and work a lot of hours. But it's just like I right, least I couldn't ask for better. Look at this. Nice breeze. And it's a good compromise because you're in the sun. I'm like a polar bear or I kind of consider it more a walrus. And, and she's like that desert lizard who likes to base out in the sun. I can't even wear my glasses because they steam up with this. You see any gold yet? Oh yeah, I forgot to say that. You, you know, I was I'm trying to show her how she could come down here even with a friend or whatever and it's prospecting is not like, hey, I'm gonna dig a hole and boom, there it is. But uh, I've had cases like that where I'm like I'm actually taken back by it. I'm like, holy crap, I got it I'm right on the first shot. But we took what do we dig, four or five holes? Yeah. Before we even found a flake of gold. But the the indicators that I'm showing her is what the gravels that typically look like around here. Um uh, She's got garnets, she's got clay. The problem is, is getting her to get, let anything out of her pan to actually see the gold. But uh, she'll get it and it's just practice. It's practice, practice. It took, took Richard, took, hey, it took Richard like six years. So I got time. You got time. <laughs> Buddha's got lots of stick, so you're sitting good. Anyway, I would just enjoying herself back in a bit. Well, howdy, hey, welcome back. Huh, me and Lisa here are just hanging out at the bar. But uh, she's working on that test pan still. <laughs> I, can, I can see that she took some tips from Rich, get her fingers in there. But she's definitely got some gold, but she's doing really well. See, she has the window, she's pulling back the sand. She's just trying to get the rest of the black sand out so she can snuff her up. Oh, dang, Lisa, you got, they got quite a few there. I don't know, I, I can't look and see my camera. Oh, now you see that floater yeah, move? That, one, that was right there, there, still floating. Don't, don't move, don't, 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 don't. I'm gonna show you. Right there, still oh. floating. Okay, it's, so it's that's gold. why we use jet dry. That is gold, it's okay. floating. So if I can try to tilt your pan forward a little bit. There it goes where you wanna watch. There it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, so, what I found, especially here at the river where you don't have jet dry. I brought it. Oh, you do have jet dry? Yeah. Wow. I didn't know what to do with it's it. More though. prepared than I am. <laughs> I One drop is all you want. One drop. I mean, you know, like you don't have to. There you go. There. Won't, you won't get any more floaters. Hey, give me a drop. Because this is that we took the scoops right there. Those two streaks. And I've always wanted to test. Thank you. I always wanted to test the black sand. <clears throat> but 
<laughs> I'm like, nah, no. Nah. But believe it or not, I got, now I know what you beach miners have to go through. Hope I didn't just wash it. No, nope, there it is. Uh, I moved it when I went to, I've got like 15, 20 flakes in here, but I mean, they're so small. Oh, I got glare. Oh, yeah. Right there. There's no way you can see those on the camera. One that, that one flake is a, a beach. That's a beach mug. So, anyway, there is gold in that sand. I always wanted to know. Uh, <laughs> I, without my glasses, I could just barely see it. So, there we go. What a perfect day. Sitting in the shade. I just checked the, I just checked the thermometer here. We're sitting about 70, and uh, got one answer question. That test pan, which I, I told you I was showing Lise, if she ever comes down here, what to kind of look for and the kind of gravels to look for. And she's even getting a lot quicker and better with her pan and better with her pan. But look at that, she's got some nice flakes in there. So remember, when you you can tap the back up and get them all in a line. So, we're just enjoying the day, and Bluto's like on his 15th stick. Bluto, that's going to hurt in the morning. Back in a bit. Howdy, hey, just an update. Okay, so we finally got off our ass and started doing something again. <laughs> so, we expanded on the hole. The problem is, as you probably just saw there, sand keeps falling in. But we're down to these yummy gravels. We pulled this beast out, and so we cleaned up, we got a bucket full, we're going to speed pan down and dump them in the SPs, I'll get uh, two or three of these and put one in, put, dump it in Lisa's pan, and then I'll do two or three and put it in mine, and we'll see what we get. See, I warmed right up when I started digging, it's still a beautiful day though. Gorgeous. You know what's funny is that one tree over there is where the eagle was sitting. Just a couple weeks ago there wasn't even a leaf on it. Oh wow. In fact when Richard and I was here, I told him, I said, that's where the eagle was. No snow. And I told you because the river's so high and fast, even though it's warm, nobody came down to swim, the fishing is closed. We've had this whole bar to ourselves. Nice. We're at happy hour. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Not your effing guru, right? That's right. Welcome back. Well, <clears throat> Bluto's getting impatient here. He's starting to cry a little bit. But we're probably on last call here at this bar. <clears throat> but what we did is uh, we at least did the one test pan, and it was a good pan. Uh, we went ahead and filled up a bucket. I speed pan down in the super sluice, uh, three super sluices, and put it into her pan. And then there was like two left that I put into my pan. So I got mine done already. So, uh, ooh. So there's about ooh, 15 or so flakes in there. No nugs. <clears throat> uh, that's what I was talking to Lisa about over there. She's getting a lot better at her panning. I told her it's just practice, practice, practice. <clears throat> but she did get to learn what kind of gravels to look for. But you hear me mention all the time at this bar that, you know, it's not just the flakes. It's the size of the flakes. And it's... Uh, like this is not a spot that I would set up to key in the run just because no nugs. And, and, and I know they're not nuggets, they're nugs, which are just basically jokingly large flakes. But uh, it's still <clears throat> still gold. I, I'm having a great day, very relaxed. Um, at least you're getting a call. And uh, it was awesome to finally find out there's gold in there. I thought about shoveling up a bucket of this. Hey, buddy. 
No, I know. We're getting close. But, uh, no. So, as far as coming out again tomorrow, I don't know uh, about here. Just because, I mean, this is it. We're, we're, this is all we got. And there's a little bit around the corner. But it is going down. It's dropped probably about a half a foot since we've been here. So, uh, we'll keep an eye on the gauge and everything. I know she's got stuff to do this evening and work tomorrow. So, I'm just actually just very relaxed. I'm excited about a three-day weekend. And it felt good to get out here. Got to hang out with my buddy Lise. I know, it's a bar. I had to bring a girl at least. I came here three times and not one woman showed up. So, uh, she's cleaning up her nugs. I'm going to snuff her that up and we should be good to go. Go to 23. You tell Jeff he can share you. <laughs> He's got one in him. He knows I ain't into him. You want me to help watch the player a little bit for you? Oh, no, that's not working at all. All right, Lisa's got most of hers uh, down, definitely where she can snuff her. She's got a nice little pan, but again, no big flakes. Oh, there, we oh, go. there you go. Look at that. I'll take a picture of your, your picture. Oh, wait, hang on. Look at that. Look, I can take a picture of her picture. No, I can't. I, I found if you go focus, 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 focus. See? It worked. Let me take one now. That's actually a good one. Nice. My little cheapy phone camera, it takes forever to focus. I can take like a five minute video waiting to focus. Now you gotta snuff it up, girl. Oh, that sucked. She got stunned on her phone. Except I got. Did you just swoosh it? I think I did. No, no, you're good. Okay. Here, I'll hold it for you. Get your snuffer. Get your snuffer. We'll check out her sniffer action. You might want to tilt it up. You're not sucking water. You're sucking half air. There you go. That's, I'll turn it upside down. There you go. Get it all. Get it all. You got one tiny dot there still under the bubble. Oh, I do. Oops. That's not gold leaving though, right? <laughs> No. The gold's at the bottom. Right there? Yep. Right where you pointed. Yep. Yeah, uh, you got it now. Oh, what is that? Did I miss something? You got two tiny, tiny micro dots right under those bubbles. Okay, let me get some of the water out. So you got those two little micro dots right there. There you go. One more. You went the wrong way. Hang on, I got too much water. I don't want to move my finger. There you go. And go ahead and suck that up too, just be safe. Cause no, oh no, that ain't gold. That moved. Did I get it all? Yeah. Fun. And I know you would look at something like that, and if you want to see it, just change color again. I was gonna, I was gonna use it as an example. Like, oh, it's gold. Like you think that's gold right there. Yeah. Right? And watch what happens. It will roll and then all of a sudden it won't be gold anymore. So it's... But what I thought I saw was one more micro dot in there. Oh, we got two more. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Right there. Right there. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> boom, boom. Suck it up with this hand? Yep. Okay. Turn it upside down and do it. There you go. So you're going to have a little bit of black sand, but that's the one I wanted to show you. Okay. It's rolling around. Okay. That was in, actually on the wall over here. So, Look at you, start to finish. We actually had to dig several holes to find it, so she got to learn that she can come down here and don't give up just because you didn't find something in the first hole. I know everybody's videos are, including myself, you know, like, oh, we found this hole, we're digging, we're moving dirt, and look at all this gold. And it's like, okay, it, it's, it's kind of like, no, you hit, you miss three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times, and then you finally hit it. So we're going to take another small little break, and we're going to reclimate that hole, get everything packed up.
Uh, not really enough to brag about. My biggest accomplishment today, though, Lise, is, is proven once and for all. I mean, for decades, I've always wondered, is there actually gold? And then watching your guys' videos, uh, doing your beach mining, and then uh, Adventure Time started doing it at his, and using a Miller table and stuff. Yeah. And it's it's like my blue bowl, but a table, you know. Yeah. But it's like, God, the flakes are so small. <laughs> I mean, when I have to put glasses on and really and still squint. <laughs> I need to get those glasses like jewelry people have that have like the little mini binoculars yeah, on yeah. them. Those are nugs. We couldn't ask for a better day. Good day with Lise from Not Your Effing Guru. Check out her channel. Flip her some, you know what. Howdy, hey, welcome back. Uh, it's actually the next morning. I came home last night and made myself a good dinner and everything, and I partied it up and fell asleep. So, anyway, uh, I just wanted to say uh, yesterday was great. It was just what I needed. It was perfect. Uh, I wish the water was down a little bit, but I got to test that black sand, which truthfully, it's been years I've been procrastinating testing that. And uh, so, and I was pleasantly surprised but I now kind of have an understanding of what you guys that do beach mining and stuff have to deal with. I mean, that gold is so small. Uh, just my regular glasses, I could just barely pick them out. So I had to even put on my readers just to even see it. But uh, it, 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 it gets me thinking to do things maybe with that just for fun. I mean, heck, even, you know, during... Uh, maybe get some, bring some buckets home, so during the off season when you can't get out there and everything, and I, I know I run my blue bowl with my cons, leftover cons, but uh, that could be something I could play with and kind of learn a little bit more about. Uh, Lee's had a good time. Um, we really focused, well, I focused on trying to show her that she can just go down there and and explore a little bit and kind of at least what I look for and, and finding a nice little pocket to pan and everything. And her panning got much better as the day went through. She just needs to, to trust in the technique and the, and the, and the physics and the, and the science of actually panning. And, and she just struggles that she's going to lose. Just, you know, she's going to lose, I'm going to lose it. And it's like, you know you're not. But fun time. Uh, poor little Bluto. He's getting old and he was, he was pooped and ready to go. Uh, but uh, it was a good day, and uh, not a lot of gold, but it, I thought about, you know, okay, i got to quit just sitting here and enjoy myself. I'm going to get to work and everything, and in the truth, it was just, just a fun day, and it's, you know, for me, going out there isn't always just about how much gold I can find. Um, so I will say yesterday was gold in. Uh, great day, great day. Had a good time, didn't kill myself, although... The rock I was panning on was not as soft as I thought it was going to be. My bum is still hurting. Man. I had like a point and I almost feel violated. But uh, it was a good day. I do plan on going back out there today. Um, I'm hoping to hear from Rich. Uh, possibly another visitor. We'll see, visitor. We'll see if that happens. And uh, other than that, I'm going to sign off on this video. Uh, I want to tell you, I, I did get some more subscribers. I appreciate it. I found out Lise has already broke 500. You guys are letting me down. I was racing the 500 with her. Uh, I'm only at, uh, I think last time I looked like 295. So we got some catching up to do, guys. Hit that thumbs up, leave me a comment, and definitely subscribe. Till, till my next video, this is going into Memorial Day weekend, day two. Coming up next. Have a great weekend. Gold Rush 23.